adder is a device that will add the two inputs together to add the two inputs two binary values we can use a adder device here it gives the result as sum and carry we know that if we are going to add any two values we will be getting the sum if this exceeds we will be getting carry over here so by this method we can have two adders one is the half adder another one is full adder what is half adder here you can observe this is the block diagram of the half adder in this block we will be having a circuitry which is functioning as half adder we are represented with a bounded box here this half adder is adding two bits as i said and the output will be two bits let me take the input as a and b a can attain a value 0 or 1 b can take value 0 or 1 so if you add these values we will be getting sum and carry to generate sum and carry we will be having two outputs similarly what is full adder full adder will be also adding two inputs and if any carry coming from the other adder if the carry coming from the other as other adder has to be added with this so here we will be having carry bit c in now let us treat this as the third input now we can say we will be having three inputs to the full adder and outputs will be same as half adder that is sum and carry so here what we understood is that there will be a device called half adder it will add two inputs one is a another one is b and it will generate the output as sum and output as carry if the third input comes into picture let me treat it as c in and sum and carry will be generated by using full adder now let us understand the half adder functionality this is the block diagram of the half adder i am treating the two inputs are a b and output is sum and carry if we assign values for a and b what are all the different values we can take we can take a as 0 at the same time b as 0 we can take a as 0 at the time we can take b as 1 this is the another case of input similarly i can take a 1 b 0 and a 1 b 1 here if you take these values and if we add keep on adding these two 0 plus 0 is 0 there is no carry generated here also 0 0 plus 1 if we add 0 and 1 we get 1 there is no carry generated that is why sum is 1 carry is 0 similarly input 1 and input 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is 1 carry is 0 when we are adding 1 plus 1 what is 1 plus 1 if you add 1 plus 1 in decimal it is 2 similarly in binary if you add 1 plus 1 we need to represent this 2 as 1 0 means this 0 is sum and 1 is carry that is why here we are writing 0 and in place of carry we are writing 1 now we need to write the expression for this sum as well as carry to get the circuit for half adder wherever sum is 1 we need to consider those inputs wherever carry is 1 we need to consider those inputs to write the expression for sum as well as carry first let us write the expression for sum how to write the expression for sum is sum is 1 here and also sum is 1 here so what are all the inputs in this case we will be having 0 1 so let me write 0 as a bar into b as b is 1 that is why I am going to write it as b as it is plus the next set of values where we are getting sum as 1 here sum is 1 right in this case we will be having the inputs 1 0 means 1 can be written as a and b is 0 it can be written as b bar it is a into b bar this is the expression for sum similarly look at the carry now write the expression for carry wherever carry is generated as 1 we need to consider those inputs carry is 1 here the inputs are 1 and 1 so 1 and 1 means it is a dot p so these two are the expressions for sum and carry what is the expression for sum a bar into b plus a into b bar you can re you can recall while explaining the logic gates i told the expression for xr gate the xr gate expression is y is equal to a bar b plus a b bar means we can generate y by using this expression the expression is same for sum so we can use input a input b and if you put one xr gate this gives 
the sum. It is very simple to write sum. Similarly, carry. How to write carry? Carry is getting generated by the logic and between A and B. So, use the same inputs A, B, take input A and take input B, put one and gate, it gives carry. Right, this is the circuit or we say this is the gate level circuit for half adder. Right? Now we can write these circuits for any digital circuit if you know the expression. How to write the expression? By looking at the truth table. How to write the truth table? We need to know how actually the functionality will be. Right? <coughs> now let us see the next adder. Okay, this is the circuit I have written already here. Now let us see the full adder circuit. The full adder is the adder again, it will take the two inputs as A, B and the one more input here we are going to consider that is C in. What is this C in? If the two adders are connected like this, let us take this as one full adder, this as another full adder. If we have two inputs like A, B here, if we have two inputs like A, B here, if the sum generated will be taken like this, here also sum will be taken like this. If carry is generated, what we are supposed to do? We need to pass to the next adder for consideration. Suppose if we are adding 12 plus 39, how, what we do? We are going to add 9 plus 2, that is 11. We are going to take the carry over here. To the next adder, we are going to consider this carry. This is the third input now. So, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. This is how we are going to do the calculation. Similarly, the carry of this particular adder will be taken into consideration for the next adder. So, here the next adder is full adder. Let us assume that scenario and consider this third input C in. If third input comes, it will be called as full adder. Okay. The full adder output we are going to see now. This is sum and this is carry. How to add these three? 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, carry is 0. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, carry is 0. Again 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, sum is 1, carry is 0. 0, 1, 1 means 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 can be represented as 1, 0. One, in 1, 0, we need to treat this as sum and this as carry. That's why carry is 1 and sum is 0. Don't get confused. 0 plus 1 plus 1 we are adding. Uh, if we consider it decimally, it is easy for us. So, decimal it is 1 plus 1 is 2. We are going to represent it as 1, 0. So, this is sum and the extra bit, the next bit is carry. That's why it is 1 here and 0 here. And again, next, uh, next values 1, 0, 0 gives sum 1, carry 0. 1, 0, 1 is 2. Again, carry is 1, sum is 0. Similarly, here also we will be having two ones. So, carry 1, sum 0. When 1 plus 1 plus 1. How to add 1 plus 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. How to represent 3? 3 is 1 1 in binary. So, this is sum and this is carry. That is why sum is 1 and carry is 1. Uh, th this is the true table for sum as well as carry generation. Now, we got to know how actually the uh, addition will be done for 3 inputs. By using this sum as well as carry lines, we need to write the expression for sum and carry in the similar way how we did in half adder. Okay. Now, how to write the expression for sum? Mark all the outputs in sum where it is generated as 1. So, for this one we need to take these 3 inputs into consideration. This one is generated by using A is 0, B is 0 and carry is 1. That is why I am going to write if it is 0 take bar a bar b bar a dot bar b bar dot c plus the next value 1 is generated here. So, these 3 values are 0 1 0 in place of 0 let me write it as bar dot b dot c bar. The next value is 1 here it is 1 0 0 1 0 0 means a b bar c bar plus next we will be having here it is a b c. Now, we need to simplify this expression. There are different Boolean laws to simplify the complex expression into simple one. 
If you simplify this expression, finally it will be reduced to a plus of b plus of c. What is a plus of b? a plus of b is xr gate. You can recall again the xr gate, it is a bar b plus a b bar, this can also be written as a plus of b. Means here we will be having a plus of b plus of c, means it is a 3 input xr gate. 3 input xr gate is sufficient to generate sum using half, uh, sorry full adder. Now let me write the carry expression. How to write carry? Carry is 1 here because of these 3 inputs, it is a bar, b and c plus uh, carry is 1 here. So I need to treat these 3, a, b bar, c, a, b bar, c plus for this output 1, it is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0 is a is 1, b is 1, c is c bar and because of this one here all 3 are 1s. So let me write it as a, b, c. Again this is a complex expression we can uh, simplify using simplify using Boolean loss. Okay. We can simplify using Boolean loss. If you are interested you can learn this Boolean loss and you can simplify this carry expression. Finally we are going to get the carry output as a b plus b c plus c a. If you are taken c in here wherever c is there we can replace that by c input. No issues. Right. Similarly here also we are going to get c in and c in wherever c is there I just replace that by c in. Since we have represented in the truth table it has c in and also in the block diagram it is c in. Okay. Now we can write the circuit for this sum as well as carry. Uh, sum can be generated by using 3 inputs a, b, c and we are going to connect that to the XR gate. This is XR gate it is generating sum. Okay. Similarly carry expression is there we need to implement this carry expression by taking input A, input B, use one AND gate to, to generate A dot B. Now this is generated. Then we need to choose this B dot C in, take this B and take C in, put one more AND gate, it gives B dot C in and then we will be having plus C in into A, take this C in as it is and take this A from here. So this gives C in into A. Now we will be having plus out of these 3, plus in the sense it is logical R gate. If you put one R gate here, it gives the carry, right. So carry expression will be this and we have implemented using the logic gates. Similarly the sum, this is 3 input XR, okay. So you can observe here, this is the sum and this is carry by using uh, XR gate over here and AND gate combinations and R gate combinations we have uh, written the logic circuit. Then we can also generate this full adder circuit using two half adders. Obviously half adder is a device it is going to add two inputs and it gives two outputs. Since the third input is there we can take the output of this into consideration means the sum will be taken into consideration for the input of the next half adder and this C will be taken into consideration as another input and we can generate the sum and carry by using one R gate at the output. Okay. This is the another way of writing the full adder if the half adder module is available with us. Otherwise we need to design this half adder and then we can put over here to get the final full adder circuit. Here also uh, full ladder using two half adders, the truth table is same. This is also a full ladder uh, implementation what we have seen earlier but in the different way.